Greetings, everyone. Dr. Doherty from Abilene Christian University. Let's talk about units. I guarantee you that, like it or not, paying attention to units will make you better at science and engineering, and it will probably make you a better person, too. Let's see how this works out. So, example one. I want to talk about the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th. That's 300 million meters per second. But suppose I want to convert this into something else. Well, the easiest way to do this is to multiply and divide by things that are equal to 1, because algebra lets me do that. And if I choose carefully, I can convert from one system of units to the other. So let's draw a couple of lines here. What I want to do is end up in something that is equal to so many feet per nanosecond in this problem. So let's figure out what I need. I need to turn my meters in the numerator into feet in the numerator. So to do that, I'm going to multiply by a factor here, which is equal to 1. So 1 meter equals 3.281 feet. Now my meters will cancel, and I'll be left with feet per second. Now I'm going to say 1 second equals 10 to the 9th nanoseconds. 10 to the 9th is 1 billion nanoseconds. And now when I take my units, I cancel out my meters, I cancel out my seconds, and I'm left with feet per nanosecond. So let's go ahead and try this on the calculator. Now these are the absolute worst calculators that money can buy, but it's what most students these days seem to have in college, so we'll give it a try. So 3 times 10 to the 8th, times 3.281. So I'm going to be multiplying everything the numerator and dividing everything the denominator. So this times this divided by this. So divided by 10 to the 9th is 1e9. And what I get is 0 0.98 feet per nanosecond. So the speed of light is almost exactly 1 foot per nanosecond. That's a really useful thing that I like my students to know. Let's keep this party going with example number two. I want to convert 65 miles per hour into something like SI units. So I want to end up with a number here in meters per second. So when I do this work, I'm going to be careful to write my miles as MI and my meters as M so I don't get confused. And like before, we're going to do this by multiplying and dividing by things that are just equal to 1. Okay, so let's turn the miles into meters. So to make my miles cancel out, I'm going to put a 1 miles downstairs. And I'm going to have 5,280 feet upstairs. So my miles will cancel out. Now I've got feet per hour. So one last conversion. I need to have feet downstairs and meters upstairs. So I go and look at my unit conversions. So I'll say 1 meter is 3.281 feet. So now when I'm going to go cancel my units out, my miles have canceled, my feet have canceled, and I'm going to have a number in meters per hour. So I'm mostly done. Let's now go from hours into seconds and the denominator. So to cancel this out, let's have an hour and let's do minutes. Okay, I know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. I'll extend this one more time, so I'm going to have minutes upstairs and seconds downstairs. Now my hours are going to cancel, my minutes are going to cancel, and I'm left with seconds downstairs right where I want. Okay, 60 minutes equals, nope, that's backwards, one minute equals 60 seconds. Okay, the nice thing about writing your work down like this is that when you make a mistake, it's really easy to see it and check. Okay, I multiply by everything in the numerator, divide by everything downstairs. So I'm going to do 65 times 5280 divided by 3.281 divided by 60 divided by 60. Didn't need that extra plus sign. Let's make that go away. And what I get is 29 meters per second. Draw a box around that and call it good. And just for completeness, let's cross off the units that I didn't like. Okay, 
So that's the way that this works. If you write your answers down and you're careful to show your work, you'll get the right answer every time. This, by the way, shows us how to convert from miles per hour to meters per second. A really nice thing that you can remember, one meter per second is about equal to 2.2 miles per hour in the same way that one kilogram is about equal to 2.2 pounds. So I know that 50 meters per second is about 110 miles per hour, and 50 kilograms is about 110 pounds. That can be a really helpful way to think about things. One last example, then we'll call it a day. I'm going to take one liter per minute, and I'm going to convert this into cubic inches per second. So maybe I'm talking about the flow of water going through a pump or leaking through a pipe. So we can convert from one system to another. Okay, so using unit conversions that I've looked up ahead of time, I'm going to write down that one liter is equal to 0 0.0353 cubic feet. Now I need to turn my cubic feet into cubic inches, so we all know that one foot is 12 inches, but I've got cubic feet. So to make that switch, I need to cube both the top and the bottom here. And it's important that I don't just cube the inches, but I cube the 12 as well. So when I multiply this in my calculator, I'm going to do a 12 cubed. And I can't forget that number, or I'm going to get a really crazy answer. OK, so now I'm going to have cubic inches per minute. So now we can convert the per minute into per second. So I'll put a minute upstairs and a second downstairs. And then I stop and think. One minute is 60 seconds. So I can check my units here. My liters have canceled. My cubic feet have canceled. My minutes have canceled. I'm left with cubic inches per second. OK, so now I touch my calculator. It's malpractice to touch your calculator before you've gotten this far. So 0 0.0353 times 12 cubed. Do not forget that cubed. Divided by 60. And an answer comes out pretty nicely. About 1.02 cubic inches per second. Now the last step on any problem like this is to go back and do what I call a reality check. Think about what one liter per minute would look like. So take a liter soft drink and imagine that you're filling that up. How fast does it fill up in a minute? Then think about a cubic inch and imagine that you're scooping one cubic inch of water into this liter. Play this game with every problem. Make sure your answer makes some kind of sense and you'll be perfect every time. Thanks for watching.